2023. The Azura was built in 2010, so it's 13 years old now. We haven't been on for a while. Let's go and see if it's changed. Key fact to remember on the Azura, when you come out of the lift, you're always facing the front of the ship, unless you're on one of the two glass lifts on the atrium. Tonight is a formal night and the captain has invited everybody either at six o'clock or at eight o'clock to come and have a glass of fizz with him, which we are enjoying. And we are loving it because everybody has made such an effort. If you don't want to dress up, you don't have to. You can go to the buffet, but I like a bit of sparkle. So I'm really having a nice time tonight. Your cabin steward is only available in the morning to make up your room. So if you want your room made up, you must put your card in. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please like this video. At the front of the ship is the Playhouse Theatre and this is where you get your evening entertainment and also your daytime speakers. Next to the Playhouse on Deck 7 is the Glass House. You don't have to book to come here and you can sample wines recommended by TV's Ollie Smith and try some delicious tapas. The Glass House is now a restaurant so you'll often find one site is blocked off so it's not a walkthrough anymore. Next to the Glass House on Deck 7 is the Jewellery Shop where you can treat yourself if you want to. You'll also find the makeup shops here if you've forgotten anything or you want to treat someone back home. They also have great odour testers. Just a bit further along on Deck 7 is the Malabar where they have evening entertainment and magic shows for kids in the day. Now we come to the photo gallery. And it's right next to the Sintu, another premium restaurant for Indian cuisine. In here, you pay for the food as priced on the menu. And remember, if you want it spicy, ask for it spicy. If you find the bars busy, come and have a drink at the Sintu. Playhouse is the Manhattan and this is where in the evening they have a disc jockey and you can dance or last night we saw a comedian. Probably the prettiest of the restaurants is the Oriental. It's on deck six and it's for set dining. Most of the time the premium restaurants are fully booked so get your reservations in early. On deck six is the reception and more shops. If gambling is your thing, come down to Brody's Casino and Bar on deck six. It has entertainment in the evenings and also quizzes and late night karaoke. Fancy a game of pool, or if you want to watch football, Brodie's is the place. It's also a venue where you don't have to dress up on formal nights in the evening. Underneath the playhouse on deck six is the Kamala room. It's a little conference room. On deck five, under the reception, are the excursion desks and the library.
Next to the Meridian restaurant on deck five is the Java Cafe where you can get Costa coffee. You can also get it at the Glass House and at the Coral Bar and you get a free treat. And next to that is the White Wall Gallery. If art is your thing, check out the White Wall Gallery. It's beautifully set out. Deck five. We're in the Ivory Suite, and this is where you can come and renew your wedding vows. And, little known fact, you can come and tinkle the ivories. Practice the piano if you want to. The Oasis Pool is tucked away, it's just by the spa, not a lot of people know that, it's a bit more private. And behind that is the Oasis area, which is a prime area where you pay a little extra for a little bit more privacy. You pay extra, you get the secret combination to the door and you get better chairs. This pool is a designated quiet area for adults only. No children splashing about in there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please like this video. There's a fully equipped gym on deck 16 next to the Oasis Spa. If you can't find a bed, come right to the top, deck 18. There's nobody here, and even below us, deck 17, the sun deck, is quite empty on a port day. The coral pool has the breakers bar above it, and this is where they do the sail away parties. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and please like this video. By the coral pool is the grill, which also serves gluten free, if you fancy a quick snack. And if you're in a real hurry, there's the grab and go. Wow, this is a rare sight. There's no one on the table tennis table. At the opposite end of the coral pool is the pizzeria and the ice cream parlor. Midships, the aqua pool, two jacuzzis and a pool. Also, the sea screen where you can watch your films. We're at the back of the ship and below us on deck 14, you'll see the terrace pool. This is the pool that has steps. You can walk down into the water and hold onto the handrail. On deck 17, there's also the outside area for the Epicurean, one of the premium restaurants. On deck 19, aft, are the golf nets and behind me, the sports court. On deck 18, by the aft stairwell, you'll find the Planet Bar. And at night, you can enjoy a drink and watch the world go by on the massive screens. And in the middle of the screens, there's a map that tells you where the photographs have been taken. The Aurora is a family ship and has an excellent kids club. The reef is where the children go during the day. You'll find the buffet on deck 15, which is also the deck where you'll find the pools and the bars.
In the evening, this turns into the beach house. Most of the time, the premium restaurants are fully booked, so get your reservations in early. The main dining room is now a three-course meal, except on black tie nights, when it's four courses and an amuse-bouche. Thanks for watching Doris Visits, and please remember to subscribe and like. It really means a lot to us. Thanks very much. There's two ships in Split today, the MSC Symphonia and the PNO Azura. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Guess where we are? We're in Split. And if you want to pick up the free walking tour, it's up here. So we found the free spirit walking tour. Free. You just give a tip at the end. So this massive statue behind me is Gregory of Nîmes, and you're supposed to rub his toe for luck. The special thing about this palace is that people actually live here and have been for about 1,500 years. This area is the killing zone. We saw it in Troy. These substructures or basements were where they filmed the places where the dragons were kept in Game of Thrones. As you come out of the port, you get your tourist map. That's the tourist information desk. They say turn left to spend more money. And if you turn left from the ship, there are plenty of beaches where you can swim. But if you want the best beach, it's Ladies Beach, and it's beyond the castle the other way. After the Ottoman Empire, he made the modern Turkey, 1923. Right. Before 1923, the name of the country was Ottoman, Ottoman Empire. But 1923, he made modern Turkey. This Pigeon Island port was a naval base protecting these shores during Byzantine and Ottoman times. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please like this video.